Hey everyone, I want to show you something really cool about the, the color notes here. It's so much easier to read notation on the guitar when we can find what these letters are all about and how they work. A lot of times all we see is just black and white on, on a notation chart and it can be really confusing, especially for guitarists because we have to learn like six different lines of, of letters, right? So the alphabet goes up each string, like the red string is A, B, C, A, B, C, and as you go up the alphabet, you'd keep going up that string. But we cross strings, and that's where the alphabet kind of changes here. So the big string will make that orange, as if the guitar was standing up straight. On the big string, you've got E, F, and G. Then the next string will make that red. That's your A string. So on the A string, we've got our alphabet there as well. A, B, C. Then the string below that will make that D, blue. So on that string, I've labeled behind the head of the guitar right here, that would be the D string in blue. So that string goes D, E, F, like fret zero fret two, and fret three. The next string will make it green. So that's your third string from the smallest, one, two, three, string G. And on that string you'd go zero fret G, fret two is A. The next string over is purple. So if we ever play the second string, it'll be purple, and it'll be B. Open, and we're just going up the alphabet. Fret one is C, fret three is D. Then when we go to the smallest string, we've made that like a maroon color. The smallest E, and that would be E, open. First fret is F, third fret is G. So if we were to take a little tune like this one I was transcribing here for a student today, the blue string, we would find the E on the blue string, and say blue E, blue F, that was fret two, and fret three. Then when we find the purple string, actually that fell off. That should be right there. The F should be right behind fret one. So when we play the purple C, we'd match it up there with the note, purple C, find it on our fret chart over here. We play purple C. Then we have green G, we'll find that, open and we'll say green G. That's your third string of your guitar. Then again, we find the green G, play and say green G. Then we find the purple C, purple C. It's a purple string on fret one. Then the blue E, so blue string, fret two, E. Makes reading guitar so much easier. So much easier. So I'm super excited about this. So I'm color coding notes for students and their learning notes learn how to read really advanced complicated notes like instantly because the color system helps us with pattern recognition that's like insanely so much easier uh, especially for guitarists you know the piano has like a color system the black and white keys the guitar is like learning six pianos so if we color code each string it's it's it helps us think of each piano or each string in its own color and then we just think about the alphabet going up and down. I've been doing it with students for a while and it's so much easier to read notation. I do this with tab, I do this with charts. Um, color is really useful. It makes it so much easier to recognize. And we wanna to get to playing guitar. We don't just wanna spend a ton of time over intellectualizing. We can intellectualize it, but there can be a point where we're not really getting to playing and color coding can actually make you even more intellectual with it in, in my in my view so um it's it's certainly a good starting point and reading notation for guitarists is incredibly complicated and this makes it so much more efficient to learn um just coloring the strings anyways i wanted to share that guys cheers